let's skip ahead to uh, considering groups of order 30. So if I have a group of order 30, then there are the natural CELO subgroups to consider. Um, I can look at in 2, in 3, and in 5. So the uh, CELO subgroups uh, in 2 are subgroups of order 2, um, look at subgroups of order 3, or subgroups of order 5. N2 is congruent to 1 mod 2, and N2 has to uh, divide uh, 15, which gives me a lot of possibilities. Um, N2 could be, therefore, um, you know, 1, 3, um, or 5. Um, yeah, odd numbers which uh, divide 15. And N3 is going to be congruent to 1 mod 3, one more than a multiple of 3. And N3 is going to divide, um, what, 10? Okay. So that tells us, um, so therefore, we have that N3, uh, well, one more than a multiple of 3, a divisor of 10. Um, that means it could be 1 or it could be 10. Um, N5, uh, one more than a multiple of 5. N5 uh, is now going to be a divisor of 6, which gives me, again, two possibilities. N5 could be 1 or 6. Okay. There's a lot of possibilities here. Um, and um, we, would, we would like to say, still, that uh, there should be a normal subgroup. And, okay, so how do we do it? Well, if you look at these numbers, you might think, like, um, 10 and 6 are really big, right? I mean, that's a lot of subgroups of those orders. And moreover, you know, these are, um, are subgroups with five elements in them. The whole group is only order 30. I have six subgroups with elements of order 5. I have 10 subgroups with elements of order 3, maybe. I mean, I'm thinking worst-case scenario, right? So what if... I'm, what if the, this one isn't normal and this one isn't normal? Already I've accounted for a whole bunch of elements, right? If you think about it, um, in each of these um, CELO 5 subgroups, each of these, you know, 5 CELO subgroups has um, four non-identity elements. Each having order 5. I could say, like, how many elements of order 5 do I have all together in my group? Well, you know, these different 5 CELO subgroups don't bump into each other um, because they're order 5, so they either are the same or they overlap only in the identity. So, um, so having 6 distinct um, subgroups of order 5 means that between these 6 elements, I've accounted for 6 times 4 distinct order 5 elements. So I have uh, uh, 24 elements of order 5. On the other hand, for my 3 CELA subgroups, of which there are 10 of these things, um, each of these 3 CELA subgroups has 2 Distinct, uh, you know, non-identity, distinct non-identity elements of order three. Okay. And again, they don't bump into each other except at the identity. So those ten things would give me twenty elements of order uh, three. So, um, so assuming that these are both one, I would have twenty-four elements of order five and twenty elements of order three but there's only 30 elements in the group, so that can't happen, right? Consequently, you know that um, both of these can't be, um, both not be one. So either the three CELO is not normal or the five CELO is normal. And there we go. We have a normal subgroup in both those cases, even characteristics.